We're about to spend 50 hours in freezing temperature. Luke from the Outdoor Boys survived in a freezing Alaskan winter, but he's a professional. I'm testing to see if a few amateurs, aka me and my bros, can survive zero degree temperatures in a self-made igloo. Will we survive or will this video end in disaster? You guys ready? Yeah! Let's do it, come on! Oh, this is not gonna be fun. Right now we're hiking deep into the canyon to find a place to camp. We don't have tents or anything, so we've got to find a place with deep enough snow to build a snow fort. This is gonna be the hardest hardest survival challenge I've ever done and none of us have experience doing it. So, wish us luck. Oh gosh. Bye bye road, see you in 50 hours. We are like 50 <laughs> steps in and I'm already done. James is <laughs> dropping everything. Paxton already fell. Ashton has to carry two <laughs> set of snowshoes. Hey guys, just, just dig a big hole right here. <laughs> They're going the wrong way. Guys, it's this way. Oh, way. I don't want to go up the stairs. Way, way. It is. It says Donut Falls, one and a half miles that way. We've only walked about half a mile, but these backpacks weigh over 50 pounds. I am exhausted already. How are you guys doing back there? Good. Dead. I have never done really any camping in the summer, and now we're about to do it in the winter. This is really gonna challenge us. Have you ever built a snow fort before? I've, this is like the third time I've seen snow. Okay. You done already, Pax? Getting a snack. What? Keep your eyes out for good spots to snow for us, because really, we don't know where we're going. Guys, we should have stopped and built here. The deeper we get into the canyon, the deeper the snow will be, the better fort we'll be able to make. George, how far do you think we've gone? Like seven miles. Seven miles? Ashton, how far do you think we've gone? While everyone is taking a break, there's like a snow tunnel up here. Let's see how deep it is. Yo, there's definitely gotta be an animal in there. Imagine a bear just comes out. <laughs> you guys, look how deep these imprints are on my feet. These are so helpful. Look how high up I am on the snow. The how do they help in the deep snow? They're very helpful. Look how far my arm would go down. Oh shoot. I've done this hike in the past, like in the summertime, and it didn't feel that hard. It didn't ever stop, just ran up sometimes. But with this freaking gigantic backpack and all this snow, it's hard to even make it up there, dude. It's they gave me the worst job. I'm pulling this sled. You volunteered. I did not volunteer. They gave this job to me. He literally volunteered I did to not. pull the sled. He's I did like, not I'm so excited to pull the sled. And now he's complaining. Bro, it sucks. Look how steep it's gonna get. Oh, I'm terrified. We're about a mile in and I am burning up. It's freezing out here and I am so hot. But in all these layers, I might have to take a layer off. Yeah, same. Too, man. I don't know how deep this canyon is. James and I, we've been walking for a while and we don't know where everyone else is. I think they went to go explore something. They're lagging behind. I hope we find a place to camp out soon so we start building shelter before it gets dark because if our shelter isn't built before it gets dark, that'll be bad news. Oh, look at that. That's not bad. We could do something down there. No, let's do that. There's a dude. We saw someone. Let's keep going. We'll find somewhere deeper in the canyon. My hips hurt so bad. Hips don't lie. I don't know what it is. Every step I take. Every step you take. My hips don't hurt that bad, right? So Come sore. on, shut up. I'm so tired. It's so far away. Drage has been a row one. He's pulling my sled for me right now. Such a nice guy. We just found this insanely cute snowman. He's a little fun guy. Better not knock him over. Oh, he's amazing. It really is. It's beautiful out here, guys. You gotta get out into the wilderness, go explore a little. Yeah, you know that feeling when like the bottom of your foot feels like it's ripping in half? No. No? Oh, I do. I think I see a really good spot over there to build our snow fort, but we have to cross this river right here and this snow might not be super secure. Hopefully as soon as we step on that snow, we don't fall in the river. Yeah, this is scary. Who's and get all wet. Hopefully I don't fall through. Oh, solid. I'm the heaviest, so if something's gonna happen, it might happen now. Oh, shoot. Perfect. We've, oh, you good, Pax? This spot looks great. We gotta start building the fort quick because the sun's about to go down. Yeah. We don't wanna build at night. We don't wanna build at night. That's gonna suck. Man, this is so awesome. You guys, we found the spot. Okay, guys, they just found the spot. Yeah! This is our spot we're gonna build our camp here. Success! Yes, we found oh. it! We're gonna make a really large circle and then shovel all the snow into a huge pile to make our fort. You ready? Yep. All right, walk yeah, in a big circle. Oh, <laughs> you can't you can. walk backwards. No, snowshoes do not work backwards. Yeah, buddy. We're almost there. Now it's time for the hard part. Now we're digging the pit. Oh, right in here. You're far along, man. I wonder how deep this is gonna be. We're like two and a half feet down and no sign of the bottom. No sign of the bottom yet. Maybe we should have brought in bigger shovels. My plan is I'm just breaking down the sides. 
so it falls into my pit, but then it's like softer snow and then I can pick it up super easy. So we watched a couple survival videos before coming out here and there was this one of this guy was literally cutting blocks out of the snow and they just stayed formed. So let's see if it works. No way. No way. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> That's it. New strat. Hopefully that'll help us go quicker. It's already getting dark out and we haven't started building into the fort yet. You guys want to start working on a campfire? Woo! I think Paxton really knows how to use a shovel. I do. I made a rocket launcher. Oh, I got one. Oh. Oh. I think the full capacity of this challenge just hit me. Usually at this point, I would just go home and sleep in a warm bed, but we're not even close to halfway done and we're gonna be out here for multiple days. So yeah, please give us some love in the comments cause we need it. It's 4.30, the sun sets in one hour. Come on guys. Oh, we gotta get this fully made. If we don't finish this, then we have to sleep out on the snow, out in the elements. How's it look, Pax? He's making a really deep hole so we can start a fire on the ground. I don't know how deep this hole is, but I've been digging for like 30 minutes and this is how far I've got. You haven't reached the ground? Is it more deep over here? This is huge. We got our fire started with a special little thing I brought. Check it out. Flamethrower? People may say that we're not surviving, but uh, we just brought the right tools for the job. We're thriving out here, baby. I mean, I'm still super freezing because the fire's not big yet, but we're thriving. We have no place to sleep, but we got fire. James is getting a big tree. I got a tree. Only took me an hour. Well, we got firewood. We spent several hours working on this big snow hill. It's not as large as we wanted it to be but sun's going down and we've just got to start digging through it or we're gonna have no place to sleep tonight and that would be very dangerous and so i'm gonna start digging in to the snow as low as i can we'll start low i sure hope this massive thing doesn't collapse on us i've never actually done this before i've just watched youtube videos so wish us luck I'm just afraid that this isn't gonna be big enough for all of us. There's five of us, and yeah, that's a pretty big hill. We're gonna have to hollow it out a decent amount if we wanna be able to fit in it, but if we hollow out too much, it might collapse on us. Let's just hope this works, because otherwise night one is gonna be in these trenches. Oh, I'm letting Paxton give it a try, this is tiring. It's officially dark, the snow cave, uh, is not even close to done, but good news. We got a great fire going. And it's warming up my Z-Bar. All the food we have is completely frozen, so this fire is gonna be a big help. We're trying to find logs so we can survive the whole night uh, with this fire going. Warm food hits different right now. It's so good. Man, I'm freezing. My gloves are so cold, my hands. One night's gonna be really hard. Two nights is gonna be insane. These are blue so far. Pretty good, pretty big. Let's make it a whole lot bigger. And that's a load. Oh yeah, dig it. I have my first guest. Oh, we can fit three people in here easy. The first couple minutes, you feel like you're gonna die. Like it's gonna fall on top of you. Okay. And after that, it's pretty chill. <laughs> Who wants steaks? Yes. yes. Yeah. Get some steak seasoning on there. Rub it around. Give your meat a good old rub. Salt, pepper. It's not coming out. <laughs> this is not fresh. Oh. What the freak? Oh, that's snow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's throw it on the fire. Ooh. Now I need to wash my hands because I touched raw meat. Yeah, boy. So I'll just like grab some snow and go like this. Oh, that's freezing. How's I my like, steak look? It looks, it looks pretty good. I like my cows still mooing. So the fire keeps going out. The steaks are raw. We're gonna go to bed hungry probably. He stood on my steak. He <laughs> slipped into the fireplace and stepped on my food. <laughs> so smoke. <laughs> so smoke. Take a bite. Mm. <laughs> it's pretty good. I'll split this with someone. Are you gonna give me the foot half? <laughs> I think this is the half he didn't step on. Look at that. That's totally cooked. This is good. 
Um, it's got a like a nice smoky flavor. <laughs> Look how good this steak is. I turned around for one second and he's got a steak done. Like, how'd you do that? I have my tricks. <laughs> oh, that's raw, dog. Yeah, boy. How's it taste, Ash? Good. Check it out. Oh, oh that's horrible. That's cooked. How'd you do it? <laughs> Torture. <laughs> Does it taste good? Anything would taste good right now. That steak is not nearly as good as mine. <laughs> Yo, it's so cool in here. Guys, we're getting somewhere. It's looking much better. There's plenty of space. <laughs> it smells really bad in here. <laughs> <laughs> is it actually? <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time we're all in our snow cave. Isn't this so epic? <laughs> so freaking cold. <laughs> Why did we do this? It is freezing. Can we all fit? Yeah, I think we all fit, and then tomorrow we can build it out more. Are we gonna be able to fit all our gear? <laughs> no. Sleeping bags out. It is so freaking cold. And you wet. do not understand. Like our toes are gonna fall off. Like I might not have toes in the morning. <laughs> Still have another night after this. Why does it stink, Paxton? <laughs> I get him the smell. <laughs> it does smell in here, but we did it. We built a snow fort. Go. Two more days of this. I didn't think we were gonna be able to get the snow fort done, and I'm not excited to sleep in here tonight, guys. I really hope it doesn't cave in on us. If it caves in on us, I'm just leaving all our stuff. Like, I don't care. What do you guys think? How's our snow cave look? This isn't a flat surface. I'm sliding off. <laughs> No. Guys, everyone's going crazy in here. We need to get some sleep, but everyone's just so high <laughs> <worried. laughs> Okay. There's snow in the tent. Wait, what? <laughs> what? How did that get there? There's snow in the tent. <laughs> no! No! There's a hole in the ceiling. That is not a good sign. I'm just glad that the hole's on that side. That's Why are you doing that? I've got my own uh, eye patch. <laughs> Arm, mate. Guys, my sleeping bag is so wet. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. It is not comfortable in here at all. It's one o'clock in the morning. A couple hours ago, Allie got a text from Brighton that they got to their destination, but then it's been silent. Nothing since then. So we're going to trek out. It's a couple miles up there through the snow. We don't know if there was an avalanche or something. So we're going. We've got our snowshoes. Our first time ever wearing snowshoes. The red X means there's avalanche warnings right now in this area. That's freaky. Hopefully, Brighton and everybody else is okay. Hey, it's a good time. Donut Falls is where they were planning to go. What are we going to do if we get there? Don't ask that question. they're not there. What if we don't, don't find them? Don't ask that question. Don't. We'll find them. Guys, I saw something sticking out of this log, so I knocked it over. Better not knock them over. I thought it was a branch, but it was a little miniature snowman that somebody built. Oh. Yeah, that's definitely a head. Look, it's got a mohawk, too. Yeah. We've got to be on the right track. We're gonna let you in on the surprise. We actually packed a Yeti suit with us. We're gonna have a ton of fun if we find the guys tonight. Hey, is this a break time? I'm stuck in the river. What? Oh my goodness, okay. That's a river. Only like two inches deep, so I think you're okay. Wow. So I think we found him. Allie's up there and she's waving at me. Their stuff is there. Ian's putting on the Yeti costume. <laughs> Why didn't you leave your snowshoes on? I couldn't keep them on and put this on. We'll put them on after. Yeti is going in. Oh, they are totally dead asleep. Go in, go in. I think you should sneak in. Going. What are oh. you doing here? <laughs> are you okay, Brighton? I thought it was a bear. <laughs> it's awesome in here. Nice job. You should stay. Are you guys surprised we found you? Yeah. yeah. Toe warmers! Oh! Warmers are better than anything. <laughs> Ironically, we brought you toe warmers and it smells like feet. <laughs> Ashton. Yeah? This is for you. Oh, how embarrassing. Good thing his mommy showed up. I bet Ashton ended up without a toothbrush. You're right. It was a guess. Does anybody want to come with us and give up the challenge? Who wants to go back? Say aye. Aye. Are you coming back, Ash? You're all staying? I feel like it'll be a warmer walk back in the morning. 
<laughs> okay, you guys be safe. Be this back. is the worst challenge I've ever done. <laughs> yeah, after our Yeti visit, none of us can sleep and it's way too cold. And so we're gonna actually start a little fire in here. Hopefully this goes well. We've got a little stove and a can. And smoke. I hope this fire doesn't get too big where it melts the roof <laughs> off. Oh, that's hot. Hopefully this fire can help keep us warm a little bit. Maybe we can get a little more sleep. The fire's out. <laughs> Dude, this is getting lower, I feel like. I can definitely see it. We got fire. It's feeling much warmer in here. Everything's steaming. Bro, I didn't get Spur Sweeney. Put your own weenie on. We're finally gonna get a real dinner here at I'm eating, yeah. <laughs> 4.30 in the morning. Just searing the outside. <laughs> that is so gross. <laughs> that is so nasty. It's so all plastic. No. <laughs> Just finished my hot dog. Let's taste this thing. Hmm. That's the best snow for a hot dog I've ever had. <laughs> Almost Boy, done. How's your dog? I know, not bad. Paxton looks so preppy <laughs> with that scarf. <laughs> it's so smoky. Paxton, no video games on a survival challenge. <laughs> He's using it to survive. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. We survived the night, but look how close it is to us now. It's like a foot closer. Yeah. It's so low. We can touch it and oh it's goodness. dripping. It's been dripping for a long time. And it looks so thin. I think we should get out of this place before it collapses because it's just gonna drip and drip until it's done. But we survived the night. Woo! Check this out, look at my shoelace. It's here and it just like bends. It's not supposed to be like that. It's so pretty out here, guys. Check yep. it out. The mountains, so beautiful. Dude, look, it looks like it collapsed on this side. Yeah, it's all bowed in the center. Camp's looking really yellow on this side. What animals were doing this last night? That's crazy. Probably the freaking <laughs> Yeti that came. Huh? I wasn't scared of the Yeti at all. <laughs> guys, I got these Ninja Kids juice blocks. They're even good for survival. You can get them at Walmart. Here we go! Oh! oh yeah! That was crazy! That hill! <laughs> that looks like the most awesomest sledding hill ever. Oh, who's gonna slide down that? <laughs> Guys, check it out! We found the waterfall! Oh. This is crazy! Yeah. This is so epic! That's Ashton and Brian! Hey! Yeah. This hill is gnarly! Holy! Who's sledding down it? <laughs> Let's see if Drake can conquer the biggest sledding hill ever. You ready? Yeah. Careful. Okay. Everybody's wiped out. Could see if I can survive. Oh! oh. oh. That was crazy! I really like this sledding hill. Drage and I, we're gonna ride the sled together. Let's do it. You ready? <laughs> Man, I'm nervous. <laughs> it's a miracle this snow fort lasted the night. I wanna see if it can hold my weight. Dude, there's or if no, I'm gonna fall no through. way. Check it out, it's stronger than I thought. Dude, that's actually so strong. Man, it holds my weight, but I don't think it'll hold my weight over there. Let's give it a test. Wait, wait, wait. Oh! Oh! Dude! No caved in! I'm so glad I didn't step there. That was so weak. That was oh just- Oh my goodness. Dude. That's where my bed was. Lisa. Go! Oh! Oh! oh. oh. The whole thing fell in! <laughs> that was crazy! We just finished 24 hours! It wasn't the 50, but we survived. I'm so proud of us. Awesome job. Just getting a snack before we head down our two mile hike, because really we're not done yet. We've got like at least another hour left. Yeah. <laughs> yes? What? Yeah.
<laughs> this challenge was a great experience. Really difficult. We learned a lot, grew a lot. I need some real food. Yeah, this was an excellent trip though. Yeah, we never got to eat our eggs. I thought I was gonna be able to cook over the fire somehow. I thought my survival skills were much better than they were. If this video gets 100,000 likes, we'll fly a helicopter into the middle of the mountains and do this again. What? And no way. Say goodbye to Mr. Snowman. Everyone's favorite. Good snowman. We're almost back. Hey, Paxton. We just finished our five mile hike and we survived 24 hours! Yes! Woo! And I am so done. But thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks, thanks for being awesome. awesome. Yeah. Everyone spam the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel so we can go survive with them in Alaska.